May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable unto you, my God, my strength, and my redeemer. Amen. 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 So, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? What's in it for us? You know, we're taught. You know, if you're not going to get anything out of it, don't do it. Look at the bottom line. Because we live in a profit-oriented society, right? We are taught to look out for number one. Number one. Not number one. So when we, we encounter a situation that will cost us monetarily, emotionally, or in prestige, we simply avoid it. We don't risk without seeing a significant return. And that is just the way we do things. And yet, in the book of Matthew, Jesus tells the disciples and us, that if we give, we will receive. If we give, we will receive. If we reach out in love, we will receive God. We let God in, and our gifts are returned. But, you know what, it's not a quid pro quo. If we reach out to a another person. We don't necessarily get back from that person what we expect. The return. The profit is in the action itself. You know, most of us here, especially during Pride Month here, we think about it. Most of us have faced coming out. Coming out as lesbian or gay or bisexual or transgender. Or in this church, coming out as, yeah, I come here, but I'm straight. <gasps> you know, coming out. Really, what we've done is we come out as being different. We've come out as being queer, if you will. We don't do it because society will love us for doing it. We don't do it so that our families will accept us. We don't do it to enhance our financial situations. In fact, we risk jobs. We risk being distanced from family and, and from those that we may have considered friends. And sometimes we risk our very lives. So what's the point? What's the point? See, there is a return. There is a return. The return is in self-acceptance and self-esteem. Because we finally know who we are. The problem is that once we begin to accept ourselves, we begin or, or, or continue to exclude others. I'm okay now, but <laughs> we, exclude, we exclude those people who are just too different. Just too different. Bisexual? Oh, they're just confused. Transgender? Really confused. Leather folk? Oh, uh, just too weird. Living in a multi-partnered relationship? Oh, that's not like me, so that's wrong. Cross-dress? Oh, that's really not good. Well, well, it's not good if you're male. Women do it all the time. They just don't call it that. So this month, and especially this weekend, you know, we're celebrating pride. We use the, the rainbow as a symbol of unity. And yet, the purple striped people just don't mix with the orange ones. 
right? <laughs> and that's a problem. That's a problem. So this month, let's celebrate who each of us is. But more so, let's celebrate who we are. Let's celebrate the rainbow. Let's celebrate the, difference, uh, the differences among us, as well as the similarities. So, you know, this month, find somebody you just don't understand and reach out. Find that person and you look at it and say, yes, here at the Pride Fest Rounds, we have a very weird people. And just stop and chat. Just stop and chat. Get to know that person. Because you'll learn something. You'll learn something. And you will be better for it. We will be better for it. Because as Jesus told us in our reading, the blessings will return. Even if that person says, you're too weird, I'm not going to talk to you. Right? Go out and seek blessings. Today, all month, all year, and for a lifetime. Go out and seek blessings by giving them away. Amen? Amen. Amen.